welcome back. Today in Chef's Choice, uh, we're going to do pan seared uh, bread snapper with seafood saffron risotto. Our second recipe today in Chef's Choice is uh, saffron flavored uh, seafood risotto with uh, grilled uh, sea bread snapper fish and uh, vegetables along with some uh, saffron caper sauce. We will be using, you know, some seafood in the rice that is squids, okay, some prawns some clams these three along with uh, we'll have some squids you know that i have over here whole squids which uh, we will be topping up as a garnish to the thing we uh, for the mains uh, in the meats we'll be using red snapper that is over here and i've got some carrots broccoli and cauliflower which we'll serve as an accompaniment to the mains for the grilled snapper with seafood saffron risotto you will need snapper fillet prawns squid arborio rice saffron, olive oil, butter, chopped parsley, white wine, chopped onions, lemon, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower and baby corn. We should start with the risotto. Okay. A, risot a good risotto is uh, it's, it's an art. Uh, as always, uh, we have the saucepan and uh, I'll be having some uh, oil. Okay, there you go, some olive oil. I'm going to put some butter at this moment of time because I really want the, you know, seafood to come up with the flavor. And uh, there, but I just take it off the flame immediately, okay? Because I don't want the butter to brown. Uh, followed by some onions at this point of time. Okay. I have added the oil, the butter, the onions, okay? We'll add some clams. Some squids, there you go. Some white wine and I'm just going to deglaze it, okay? Uh, as you've done before. Also seafood and white wine is a very good combination. There you go, the rice goes in. Okay, this is arborio uh, rice. I'll be using some seafood stock, okay, so as to cook the rice. We will also add to it, you know, some saffron. Uh, I've got some saffron here, which I've just soaked, okay. That's called a saffron decoction. Meanwhile, you know, we will uh, proceed on to the seasoning of the fish okay so what i have done is you know i have taken the fish two good fillets of red snapper with some salt and some pepper and uh, there season high next is uh, use some seasoned flour Okay, this is some flour in, in other terms and uh, you can call it maida. Okay, I'm going to season it, some salt and some pepper. Let me tell you about the vegetables. We got uh, carrots, we got broccoli and uh, we got some uh, cauliflower. The risotto on the other side is doing well. Okay, you can see a nice yellow saffron color being generated over here. Okay, and I'm sure you know it's going to be really, really very delicate. At this stage, you know, I feel like adding the prawns. Okay, because it will not take more than a couple of minutes to cook now. I'm going to put in uh, some parsley at this moment of time. At this moment of time, you know, I'll just start assembling the plate. There you go. What I've taken is I've taken a mold, a ring mold. Okay. I'm just adding in the two prawns that we just left over from there. 
the squids. I'm just going to put a little amount of wine. I'm just going to put in some cream, some fish stock, some saffron as we promised, you know, saffron sauce. I'm going to use some capers, caper berries. And uh, I'm just going to drizzle it across the plate, okay? Uh, the nice caper berries can come on the fish. You know, the sauce can go across. Nice, you know, crispy plate of uh, red snapper. Mm -hmm. Accompanied with some nice saffron risotto with seafood and good saffron sauce. The capers actually will, uh, you know, make your taste buds come back for the fish.